everybody and welcome back to Gotcha Force. Uh, what will we do next? There is... So this one has a question mark. I don't know what it actually means. These ones are red. Was this one red before? That's a good question, I think. Uh, does that mean anything? If it does, I don't know what it what it means, so... Let's... I guess if there's a question mark, maybe there's a character we haven't met yet. Okay, so let's do the Usagi one here first. Cover it with Usagi to protect the marketplace. Hi. Protect the free economy. Wait, I thought it was done for now, let's get going. Yeah, you guys sure are lucky, I, I'm always around. Last episode we got like freaking body by Orochi, man, like, that was crazy. I felt very good about the fight until those like knights came in and one of them had like a piercing laser beam. And that didn't feel very fair to be honest. Then there was another knight I think and then she also just had like a guy with a giant shield and like a saber or something. And now uh, if you didn't watch the last episode this is the borg I slotted into first place now. I feel like battle girl is pretty good actually. It's like this little missile here. She can fire reasonably fast. She has a face saber which feels great to use. I only need to work on the dodging part a little bit from my side. I guess I should just like slam the left and right analog stick a little bit more. Let's shoot the rocket at this fool. I think the rocket just phased out of existence here. Uh, those guys are so far away. Let's bully them a little bit. Here let's... Usagi, let's power up our moves. Yeah, either rocket, you son of a gun. What is this? I think this is also a battle girl model. Sometimes it's hard to see mid combat when everything's spinning. Dang, dude. A little low on HP here. Just, just give him another one of those good rockets here. They're doing so much damage. Okay. Talking about much damage, uh, Revolver Gunman is here, my favorite character. Please leave me alone <laughs> while I'm trying to climb this thing. Uh, just give him one of these. I feel like they can turn around on like a moment's notice, man. Like it doesn't feel very good when they do this. Oh, god. good! I dosed one of them, like totally. Holy shit! What are those? You can just give him all 20 shots, man. <laughs> I'm like just spamming basically. You can just close up, double recoil. I feel like with Revolver Gunman, we're really seeking uh, the distance basically. Sometimes it's difficult when there's like four enemies, man. Like, where am I gonna go? I need to unload with him basically. Okay, G Red. You know what's up. Get close. Hit the power button. I mean, not the power button, like the power up button, you know. Sometimes I feel like hitting the power button, though. If <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but... You know from last episode what I mean, probably. Yeah, let's just completely toss those guys. So, I've decided to try and power up our, like, weaker or our ranged bots. And have G-Red in third place just... Because I feel like he's a good bot to fall back to. It feels horrible when you have G-Red in first place and he gets defeated and then you're like, oh no, now I'm stuck with the other guys basically, you know? So I'd rather have, quote unquote, the other guys first and then be like, oh yeah, I still have G-Red and then I just beat the crap out of all the enemies. Okay, that wasn't terrible. I mean, I did burn through two Borgs here though, but... Could be worse. Okay, uh, next I'm gonna do this Kakeru and Usagi now. There's mana here. Let's do mana here. Corporate ma with mana to protect your room. Don't worry, milady, I will protect your room. I will protect your estate. My room is filled with death force box. Please help me, dog. Can't she just like. Hit him with like a fly swatter or something. It must be incredibly small when you are human, right? That's like, why is our best course of attack basically to just deploy our own toy-sized soldiers? 
now that I think about it. Wouldn't you just call your mom and like she brings out like a big broom or something and beats the crap out of them? This is something... No, this is a fan theory. Of sorts, I guess. Like, is there an explanation for what Master Hand in uh, Super Smash Bros. actually is? I always interpreted Master Hand as your mom wanting to, like, uh, tidy up your toy collection, basically. I don't know if that's the wrong interpretation, man, but it makes sense, right? Your mom is wearing, like, okay, my mom never does this, but your mom is wearing, like, gloves when she's dusting or something, and she's like, oh, these toys are always, like, standing around, they're collecting so much dust, and then, you know, and also I feel like the movements Master Hand performs, basically they... I, I don't know why, but I feel like they're more feminine. Does it make sense? Oh god, this, please, I don't want to be so close here. Here, just hit him with a double recoil. Holy dang, dude. Just unload. I think he's going after mana big time there. Get him! Oh, nice. That was a nice holding shot, actually. I didn't even know... It works. Or that, that works like that, I suppose. Okay. Hit him with a power-up move. And just unload, man. I think his rocket got stuck on the table there. Yeah, dude, just just grill him. I feel, I feel like Gunman's damage isn't that great, but when he hits with the double recoil, like, he can really just destroy a bot. I also like, I feel like when he's facing like many enemies that are like maybe like ninjas or something, he's pretty good. But when he's facing like one of those big defender types, he's he's just like hard counter basically. Dude, how the heck am I supposed to fight these guys? This is like one of those night dudes. Yeah, I feel like this is what uh, Orochi had earlier. Dude, there's two of them, man. Are you crazy? Get, get rid of them ASAP. <laughs> now I feel like I want the power move. Yeah, just shoot him. Yeah, I feel like I can't really do anything against those guys. Yeah, I got one of them at least. Just shoot. This might be the last one. Get him. I feel like Mana, you know, is a healer, but I feel like she doesn't really heal. Maybe... Maybe it's because I'm so far away from her, but that was very scary. Whew, thank god G-Rat was able to tidy that one up. Yay! We did it! Okay, please something good. Give me one of those big night bots, I will be very happy. What do I have here? You got an item. Oh, it is a data crystal for what seems to be this night robot thing. 100... 82B, I think it was. Let me see. Uh, quickly head into items. Data Crystal N182B. Collect three different types to form the Imperial Knight. Rarity B. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what next? Let's do this one next. Training with Kaka. I don't want where I can't talk to the training with Kakaro and Dusagi. Doc, let's do some training. Right. I show no mercy this time. Okay, but I can pick my partner, right? Okay, yeah, Kitsune. Let's go. <laughs> I love that guy, man. He has proven himself so useful last episode. I don't have any respect for Kakeru anymore. I hate to say it, but that's all it is. Okay, just hit him. Rocket first. There we go. The ninjas seem to be quite squishy, so if we can take them out first, that would be nice. I don't know what this one is, actually. Oh, please. <laughs> don't let me let me escape here. Okay, yeah, you can also have a rocket. Oh, there is the ninja. Wow, he, like, tore me apart. Where did Usagi go? She just fell under the table, I think. Hey, there's Kakeru. You hit him with a double. 
<laughs> it's for so much actually. Usagi is coming back up here. Hit him with another double if you can. Where's my partner? Oh, that's just under there, huh? Okay. I think we should try to get close to them in some capacity. Maybe not too close, but close enough so he can do something, if you know what I mean. Oh, look at that shot. Mm, that was so nice. Okay, you know what? I'll just hit you with one of these. And then you can do a, dot a ton of damage to Usagi here. And Kakeru already has his, uh, his Sasuke out here. And he got toasted. I think he got toasted by my double recoil. I always want to say double double as if this was uh, uh, Mac Armada. <laughs> Don't know whether you've seen that spotlight video, but it's a nice callback. You just hit him. Yeah, Kitsune is so good in this fight, man. Got him. No problem. G Red didn't even need to come out. The Magnet Bot and Gunman are really good combination, man. He just pulls them in and I just rain them with bullets. How much power do I have left here? 120 remains. Oh, excuse me. Uh, do I have anything I can slot in here? This one needs 210. 250. One of those needs 150. Get, I could get one of the ninjas out and get another gunman in. I don't even know what I want that. Maybe not for now. Uh, if I take the two ninjas out, I will have 420. Hashtag wheat. Uh, maybe I want this guy in here. Behind G-Red? Maybe? And then I would have 70 left. So if I get 80 more, I could get another normal ninja in there. Just remove the new from those guys. There we go. Okay, what's next? Uh, let's do this one. Cooperate with Matt to protect the pit. Hey! I don't need your help. That's okay. I'll give it to you anyway. <laughs> I suppose. Let's see. I don't even remember what that guy's robot was like. But I will just shoot from up here, that's okay. That guy was a little bit too militaristic for me. But if I can snipe that bot over there, like, all is right with the world. Got him. I will just stand here and snipe, no, no problem, man. Oh, maybe a little bit of a problem. You hit him with one of these. <laughs> I, I saw they were like airborne for a second there, so I was like, okay, now it's time to, to hit him with a rocket. Something is hitting me there? Oh, it's another one of those flyers. Probably should get rid of them there. I also feel like Battle Girl is more agile in terms of dodging. Like, she feels very good to handle. As a very quote, a uh, very weird quote, if it's uh, without context. Oh wow! Interrupted my rocket shot. You see that? She was like holding the rocket for a second. That was very strange. Wow. Okay. This is like the Tsutomu tank thing, I, I guess. Dude, I, let me just spew bullets at him, basically. Got him. Same with you. Same with you. You just perish. I'm on fire. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow. Yeah, let's get rid of the weak guys there first. This, this tank man on the other side of the arena, that might be a big problem. Let's see, can I focus them here? Hit them with a double shot? Oh, that, that actually did a ton of damage here. Hit them with another double shot. Oh, very nice possible I want to get like those guys off my back just so I can stand there and shoot but uh, Matt isn't doing the best like tanking them or at least I don't think so oh no they have two of those tanks no there's a problem uh, time for G-Red 
Oh no, it's not time for Jira, it's time for my boy right here. Oh wow, man. those missiles, they feel powerful, man. Let's see. How much can we do with melee attacks? It's not bad, it's a little bit slow. Oh yeah, wow, this, this bot basically doesn't have mobility, huh? I don't even know who the closest one to attack is, I guess this guy? Do we have like a good shot or something? Nice missiles. <laughs> Do you, like, he feels very powerful to control, he has like the chat walk basically. But like no mobility whatsoever, like I can't even like... I guess I can fly a little bit but the hops, they are not the powerful feeling ones man. <laughs> KG Red, just shoot a few that way and then we can get rid of this guy. He seems to be like an axe man. Not axe, but like as in the tool the axe. Got him. Very good. Ooh. A little bit sweating, man. Like, Giret is our last bot now in our lineup. Hmm. What do we have here? Or maybe it's just another crystal or something? Let's see. Oh, look at that. Wing Soldier. Ah, it's a flying one. I don't know how hey. easy to control that one is. Hmm. Okay. That guy is playing hard to get. Uh, it only costs 200. I want to try him out at least. Let's slot that one back here for a second. And then Gunman, you're just gonna go here. My girl's gonna go here and then... Let's bring in this dude, and then I guess we still have 230 left. Let's bring in one of the clowns here. I, I kind of like the claw robot, maybe? It, like, it feels powerful, but not mobile. I don't know what to make of it, actually. Okay, which next? Let's do this one with Tsutomi here. How about with... Oh, Tsutomu is his name. Tsutomu to protect the school. Right. Our school has been invaded by the Death Force. Let's go, Doc. Well, I wouldn't be too upset if our school was lost. Too real. Okay, let's see. Or maybe I should have actually checked the stats of our new robot right here. I don't really like cooperating with Tsutomu because... You know, he kind of only has one robot. Oh, this one feels nicer to control than the airplane, actually. I think. At least so far. Can ascend with with jumping basically. No, that, that, that's feel that doesn't feel bad. It feels more natural than the airplane controls. It's actually not inverted, if that makes sense. Just get him, my man. And it feels faster actually, like when you have a target. Oh god, it's the X dude. Oh man, look, the shots are actually dealing so much damage. There's so many of them. How, like, what does our special shot look like? Like, if I hit this... Oh, it's like a dive. If I hit Y, actually. That's cool, man. We can also do sick melee attacks. I, I'm not against it. Let's try and get some more ground here, actually. Let's do a little dive away. It's very strange that this Borg special attack is like actually not an attack it seems, like it's just it just a circling around like like this. But it feels amazing man. I feel like in general there aren't many games that actually have good flight mechanics. Do you know any? Like if I think about games where you can fly at all, it's always somehow guided in some capacity or very limited. Oh look, air versus air combat. Somebody shot me from the side. I was so excited for a second, man. Here, let's hit him with one of those missiles. Dude, wh who the heck is shooting me? Okay, you. Hit him with a missile again. I don't think he's very good at dodging. Come, come on, please. Come down here. Let's do this. Got him. Anyone else? There, I feel like there's so many enemies, man. It's, they still have 1,500 left. 
Yeah, just hit him before they can hit us, please. Why does the axe stand, like, stay around for so long? Yeah, hit him with one of these. Got him. Tsutomu is still alive. That's, there's an incredibly durable mech. Oh, now they have one of those flying guys. That sucks a little bit. Let's see what do we have on the ground here. Maybe I should focus on that first. Uh, they have too many flying guys? <laughs> if you would kindly screw yourself. Okay, yeah. gunman, just give it to them. Nice double recoil. And then you just start shooting like a madman and then you give him one of these. Sadly slam this one right into that ramp. Dude, but the double recall against one of those like fairy things. Good damage, man. Yeah, hit him with one of these. Two X-Men? That, that might be a big problem here. Yeah, the <laughs> the lingering X, my dude. I don't know where that double recall just went, but that completely didn't go where it was supposed to go. Oh god, we're already down to G-Rat, huh? Okay. Let's try and get him, Tsutomu. Are you still alive, Tsutomu, here? Oh, I think I just saw a shot going in against that guy, so I guess he's still alive. Dude, but how the heck are you supposed to dodge that freaking axe? Yeah, just shoot him from the air. Yep, got him. Everything as intended. That was tough. Yeah, look, I'm just prone on the floor. What a finishing shot. Oh, please, give me one of those eggs, dudes, man. Those battle eggs, sporks, or whatever you want to call them. Yes! Hatchet Knight. Okay, you got my attention. How much does it cost? 490? <laughs> There's a little bit much. Don't think I can afford it right now. But it is on my priority list. Let me move him down here, actually. I like the Winged Soldier, too. Let's have a look at that guy, actually. Ah, speed high attack? Pretty low, but I think he did good damage. The speed type? Arrow shots, wing sword, and... Ah, you see the, the X special attacks actually fly. That makes sense. Wing Soldier is a former border guard and his sharp eyes never miss a target. Use the X button to soar over your enemies and unleash your attack. Feels really good actually to use that one. What about you, Hatchet Knight? Dude, the stats are crazy. Hatchet Boomerang on B. It's a charge attack. The normal attack is just Hatchet. X is Rolling Hatchet. I see. The Scotcher Bog is a warrior in the Night Borg Corps. Core. I think it's pronounced core. Uh, no native speaker here. He can hurl his large hatchet at enemies. Yep, and it's very painful actually. It's a C rank or C C level bot. By comparison, you're a D level, and what about the wing soldier actually? D level, okay. Hmm. Oh, Battlegirl is also level 2 already, okay. I wish we could get points quicker, man. Get points quick scheme. I feel it's weird that there's darkness there, but no battle. Let's do this one. Cooperate with Tetsuya to protect the Stone River. Let's go. Hey, Doc, let's do this quick and thorough. You're a man of my liking, let's go. Hmm. Hetsuya also has only one bot, apparently. Better make it count, then. Let's try and fly right away here. Yeah. Please, let me hit the X button. I don't know how to ascend a little bit more here. Like, it seems like you can only ascend in, like, sp in, like, spurts. Like, I can ascend a little bit like this. Whoa. There we go. Just get as far up as possible. Got him. And now we just shoot like this. <laughs> I have the high ground, man. You know how it goes. This is how we win. Dude, the arrow salvo is so good, man. Maybe it's because it's only those like low HP guys, but I, I feel pretty well when 
I use this man like it just feels fantastic it feels like we have offensive capabilities despite what uh, that stat screen showed us there let's actually head in with our sword attack here and then gain a little bit of ground maybe Whoa. this guy doesn't stand a chance man yeah. look at that and then let's just gain a little bit more height here see you later boys Dude, I feel like there's a valid board. I wonder whether I could win against Orochi or Sho, who like obliterated us earlier with this spot. Just stand still and hit him? Oh, hey, don't stand still. Note to self. Let's power up, man. Tetsuya, let's go. Tear him apart. <laughs> Look at the shots. Goodbye, son. It's time to blast. I wonder whether there's like something that grants you a, a better power-up mode or something like that. Like maybe if you have a high-level bot, it increases your power-up time or something. I could imagine that. I'm still not sure what levels actually do. Maybe it's just set up stat increases for the Borgs. But man, you see how long this one has been in the game so far? I mean, I don't think it's just because of Tetsuya, but... Might be wrong. I'm getting grilled here though. That's what I get for bragging, I suppose. Yeah, okay, I just hit him with a rocket here. That didn't work out. At yeah, this guy, man, like. He just. Yeah, man, dude, like he has like a Gatling gun here. Get him. It is actually the Gatling gun guy, okay. He seemed familiar from a mission from earlier, so. That's what I thought. Okay, gunman, get him. Just shoot. Shoot first, ask questions later. Give him a little double shot here. Oh no, they have another one of the Gatling dudes. Ah, oh, it's so hard to focus on the on the right guy here. Let's hit the power-up thing. And then G-Red, if you can just tear this guy apart. I would be very thankful. Got him. And what is that? It's like another knight type or something? I think we need to get in a little bit closer here if possible behind cover. Uh, did Tetsuya just get smoked? No, I think he's still in the game, but I feel like his bot just got destroyed or something. Oh, that was like a very nice hit actually. Oh wow, like... I, I don't know, man, those flying knight dudes, like, why do they have a laser and everything? It's like, are you the protagonist in this game? Or am I the protagonist here? For a second I thought they defeated me, so that was very scary. Win? Okay, what's on the platter here? Flying knight dude? Can a man dream? You got an item. Oh, it's for the... It's a data crystal for the Gatling dude, okay. Can certainly live with that. That felt good, let's do this again sometime. Tatsuya has joined you, okay. Uh, I always forget it's not start. Actually, I want to look at our items here. Collect two different types to form Gatling gunner. Not bad. You know, for a game about gacha toys, there's surprisingly, like it seems like there's no gacha mechanic in there, it's very weird. Okay, protect the park at any cost. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, I finally come to save you. Know. Dude, can't you just be honest and say please help me? Oh, this is where Neko Bear is gone, okay, I should have probably concluded that. I will gladly fight alongside you, Neko Bear. Right. Let's go. Let's not focus this ground unit, let's focus that guy over there. Let's gain a little bit of ground here. Good. Just blast him, man. Yeah. Feels nice to be able to soar around the battlefield like that. Oh, very good. Okay, this guy seems to be like a tank unit or something. It has me a little less confident, to be honest. Somebody keeps sniping me out of the air here. I think it's two of the same unit. 
Can I like rapidly come towards you or something? Let's see, yeah. Let's see. Uh, they are focusing me, kind of. I don't know where Nekobe is right now, but I hope he's putting in the work he's supposed to put in. Soar around a little bit. Get a little bit out of the enemy's radius. Or into their radius. This is nice, man. Who would have thought that putting a non-attack onto the special attack button would be such a good idea? Okay, let's, we need some ground here, I think. I think Nekobe might have just hit us with his attack there. Yeah? He's horrible, man. Oh, and there's, there's a guy right there. Yep. Let's, let's hit him with the big one. I don't know what this is, man. But it seems like it's nothing good. Let's hit him with the sword. Okay, I've decided to bail out. See you later. Light him up, Nekobe. <laughs> you got this. Oh wow, he actually tore him apart. Okay, thank, thank god he also brought this big chainsaw bot apparently, so... Too easy, he says. After getting bodied once. Oh no, it's, it's the tank thing again. Yeah, okay, that hurt like a bitch. Let's see whether we can beat this guy with our flying unity, actually. No, it doesn't seem like it, okay. Ate my words immediately. Just blast. Because your life literally depends on it. Let's get rid of this, this little one here first. Eat the rocket. Look, the, the shots from that tank thing are so quick. Oh no, now they have two of them. Did you just call him amateur? It's a little cocky, Nekobe. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that guy hurts. Maybe I should pick Tsutomo as a partner more often. Because those bots, they're crazy. Here, hit him with a double. And just spam. <laughs> you give, give him the special attack. Okay, there we go. Now unload your revolver. Hit him with this one. Did you see that damage? Incredible. We just keep shooting. Nothing can escape me. Try to get close to me. Am I even hitting them there? I think I'm targeting that ninja there right now. Yeah. Okay. Got him. <laughs> he has been gotten. Ooh, but those tank types? But I don't know whether that's the right tribe uh, designation, I to call it that, but they are actually nasty to deal with. Dude, what the heck is that? It is big and it looks scary. Let's just, just hit him with all we can fire, basically. Uh, just hit him with another one. Oh no, this one ran right in the table. Oh, there's two of them, okay. Here we go. Dude, like, I love the gunman, actually. Just, like, if you had a little bit more defense on this guy, this would be, like, one of the best, like, Borgs to play with of all time, I think. Surprise, we still have G-Red. Dude, like, this can... Are you telling me this tank can just fly around like that? That doesn't seem fair. Okay, yeah, just hit him with the melee attack. And then you punch him. Uh, can you come down from there again? <laughs> Please? Look at that. Yeah, here. Tear him apart, my boy. Whew, got him. So even those normal missions... I mean, if there was a normal mission... They feel pretty challenging, man. Or maybe I just suck at this game. Is an actual possibility. You got lucky, Doc. It'll be fine now that you're with me. Nekobe has joined you. Heck yeah. I think I won that from the beginning. Nekobe and Tetsuya both have those samurai bots. Well, um, I guess he's on our side now? Even G-Rat is like, what the heck. 
Okay, guys, for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I like this game, even though I'm maybe not very good at the game. <laughs> Let's hope I can improve. And thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the game. But more importantly, have a nice day. I'll be seeing you next time and bye-bye.